Hello, my name is Silver Dark Phoenix, and this is my unboxing of Tim Burton's Nightmare Before Christmas, his Jack skeleton with a massive <laughs> mallet. Um, this is version 2 of Jack Skeleton, which I've done version, I think it was version 3? I'm not too sure, or version, um, yeah, I think it was 3. This is Jack Skeleton with a massive mallet, with, you can see here on the descriptions, there's no window or anything like this, it's just a big massive um, print with the figure's mallet, as well as uh, a little character here. Um, Jack looking extremely happy to destroy this figure with the actual hammer. Um, down here you get the Disney logo with copyright as well as Jack itself here with um, Japanese writing. I think it's Japanese, it could be Chinese, I'm not too sure, sorry. I think it's Japanese. Um, yeah, yet again, another character which is extremely cheap, which I've got from Japan, um, extremely detailed. Um, I'm quite shocked to see something so cheap um, be this level of detail, and I, I'm, I'm going. With, I will be buying and I will be opening again um, other boxes of these figurines in the future. So yeah, this is what it looks on the side. Uh, you get the picture of the actual model that's going to be getting smashed by Jack. You get Nightmare Before Christmas as well as Disney. I don't know if this actually is licensed material by Disney. It, I think it is because it has Disney written all over it. Um, on the back you get the actual um, copyright laws as well as the um, Disney kind of little um, Mickey Mouse. As well as the putting together the little kit to show you how to put this model together. Uh, on the other side you get the actual other side of the mallet image there on the bottom it's just black on the top it's just the actual name of the um, the jack um, I don't know what this jack actually is called because it's in Japanese I have to um, find out what that actually is in Google Translator and I'll try to put that in as well if you want to get this one I'll put a link in description I think you can get it from um, America and you can get it from Japan. I think I got this one from America uh, because it's kind of hard to find. It's getting become uh, like a collector's item now. So I'm going to open this up off, uh, off camera and show you what it looks like inside. So yeah, back again after unboxing. Um, this is the stand that you get with the actual character. Um, I love these stands. Th this is the second one of the same series. I think it's done by Sega. Um, and Disney, I think it's Sega. Yeah, it is Sega. Sega was written on the back, the back of the box. Sega is actually doing quite well when it comes to figurines. I mean, the base on this, there is no mass to it. It's very flimsy kind of, um, but it's kind of hard plastic. It won't bend like some other plastics I've seen. Um, it is made in China, but this is beautiful. This, this, the design on the actual stand itself, they put a lot of detail and attention to these figurines, even if they are quite cheap. A lot of detail goes into these things, so yeah, this is actually worth a. Um, a I think it's a, like a getting become a collector's thing now. So it's quite even, even putting these the stands on the wall kind of looks kind of neat, cool to have on the on the wall. So yeah, that was the stand. You also get Jack's hands attached to a piece of plastic, huge piece of plastic. There's a lot of assembling with this one. There's a lot of assembling. Um, you have to put a lot of stuff together in from this box. Um, so there's also his arms because he stands quite tall. He is a quite tall and skinny character. So yeah, th there's you get three of these skeletons which hang from the actual um, Jack's tree branch, as well as this holds the um, end of the mallet to prevent it from bending or flexing while it's on your um, um, bookshelf or even on your collector's stand which I kind of find that was an interesting little touch to this this is that they're kind of looking at this as a long-term figurine that you'd keep on your shelf so much so that if the plastic warps at least there'd be something to protect it from not warping too much also, you get the little guy who is about to get smashed by Jack. 
the little um, toy from the actual Christmas. Um, I think this was a Christmas toy that uh, my camera keeps focusing really poorly lately. Come on. I really have to sort out my camera. It's beginning really going to piss me off. So anyway, it really is focusing like crazy. It keeps trying to focus. I think there's like dirt on the lens or something. Anyway, this is Jack. Come on, focus, focus. There we go. Nope, don't want to focus. My camera really doesn't want to focus today. I think it's the light. The light is kind of fucking around my camera. But anyway, this is Jack. He's quite tall. If I just move him back a bit more, since my camera is having problems focusing. So I'm going to put him together and turn. Uh, I'll do this off camera. I'm going to put him together and show him what it looks like and show him the stand. So yeah, this is what he looks like when he's all put together. You don't need to actually have this on him all the time because it's only when the weight of the hammer on the back does start to bend a bit. But yeah, it looks very impressive. You have the little duck down here. You also have his legs. He is a tall figure. He is tall and extremely detailed. Just move this away and move him a bit forward. If my camera likes to actually I move my camera a little bit because it's a bit too bright. There we go. I'm trying to get in the way of the actual camera so the camera doesn't go crazy with the actual focusing. There we go. There's too much light and my camera gets fucked up by it. Uh, I tried to get use the autofocus, it won't work. But the character itself is extremely detailed. So just bring him forward a bit. So yeah, he's extremely detailed. There's too much light in here, sorry. Um, I can't do anything much about that apart from stand above him and try to um, cut out the light a bit. Um, that's the best I can do. Um, but yeah. I thought this was a kind of a nice thing to have for Christmas uh, as well as for Halloween. Um, and it looks kind of nice to have on the bookshelf with the other um, Jack Skeleton. I have to move him a bit away because he is quite tall. So yeah, if I just put a shadow over him. I really have to get my a better set up when I'm doing figurines because cause he's so white and he's so shiny from plastic, the light does reflect off him so well. Um, I have to point out that on the top of his head, there goes the skeleton, you do see a bit of a joint between the actual face part, part as well as the head. But when you're looking straight on, you don't get to see it that much. So it's it's kind of, I, I wouldn't have liked to have seen that kind of detail, that uh, kind of joint. But uh, compared to how much it costs, which was roughly around 20 euro at the point, which is roughly around 22 to 23 dollars. So yeah, this is a huge statue, which I'll try to get my ruler. Sorry, Ew, my camera is moving. He stands hugely. He, he stands massive. He is 11 centimeters tall. Uh, no, actually... 11 inches is the highest point on him. This is 11 inches tall. He is about 8 inches tall himself. And the the actual swinging arm is 11 inches tall. So if you do going to actually display him, you have to have a display quite high. Um, if you put it on a bookshelf, the shelf has to be quite tall as well, which it should be. 
Anyway, this is my unboxing of Jack Skeleton with a massive hammer or mallet. And my name is Sildar Phoenix and I'll see you next time.